All residents must be off the island by 8 p.m. Firefighters along the coast of North Carolina issue a final call to evacuate. The bridge will be closed to inbound traffic. Despite the warnings, some say they're staying put. We have been in some other hurricanes. We're not trying to be um, heroic or anything like that, but we feel we have just as good a chance here as we would in town. 20 minutes up the coast, residents of a trailer park board up their homes, preparing to leave them behind. I have two kids and I'm trying to get them as far away from here. I don't want them nowhere near the um, danger of a hurricane. Trying to conserve life and health, as the authorities are mainly doing. Putting lives first, it's the best thing. The material things, let's hope they hold up. As Hurricane Florence approaches land, its winds are expected to create storm surges of up to four meters. Rainfall could last for days, with as much as a meter in some parts of the state. While the storm has been downgraded, North Carolina's governor told residents not to be fooled. We are on the wrong side of this storm, where most of the damage is done. The forecast tells us that Florence's storm surge will drown many homes. The governors of North and South Carolina, Virginia and Georgia have all declared a state of emergency. The storm is expected to make landfall in the Carolinas and continue westward, putting some 10 million people in its path.